breaking news that's happening in Brooklyn. A man stealing a school bus and causing chaos, to put it bluntly. Crashing into several cars. This is happening in East New York. Fortunately, no kids on board that bus. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim is live at the scene with what happened. Stefan. Well, Bill, it was demolition derby out here on the streets of Brooklyn, and it was a yellow school bus doing all the damage. As you said, witnesses at first feared there were kids on that bus, but luckily that was not the case. Countless vehicles, though, were damaged. If you take a look at this car, banged up all around, this car was rammed back and forth by that bus. Take a look at this video. You'll still see smoke down the block coming from that bus. Within that smoke was that car we just showed you, and inside that car was a man being smashed around like a pinball. You'll hear from him in just a moment. Meanwhile, cops say this happened just after 3 o'clock when a man stole an unoccup unoccupied bus at East 51st Street between Linden Boulevard and Lenox Road. Police tracked it by GPS to the Jackie Robinson Parkway, pursued him to 1738 East New York Avenue where the bus slammed into a building. He then fled, striking a vehicle. The bus then took off again before it was disabled at Georgia Avenue and Sheffield Avenue. Police did tase the suspect, but he was only struck with one prong. And in one of those cars being slammed back and forth, we mentioned, was Raymond Johnson. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. The car came up behind me, slammed in the back, uh -huh. and keep going forward. They just keep going. They keep ramming, ramming, and the police has to run around on the pad. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Now, Johnson says he thinks he wasn't hurt, but the adrenaline hasn't worn off yet. One officer did suffer a minor hand injury, and at least three civilians suffered minor injuries. The suspect was taken to a hospital. He is in custody. Charges are pending. Reporting live.